Hey guys, and welcome back to Let It Die. Sorry for the hiatus, um, there's a bunch of other games like Destiny and Fortnite that were coming out that were so fun to play, but we're back um, with an update. They've updated the game like crazy, as they always do, which is great. <laughs> Are we okay, green screen? I did just tap you and I think we're okay. Um, but there's a ton of stuff to cover. Look at all of this stuff. Oh my god, so many things. I'm not sure if you guys can see my cursor. But yeah, so many things. We got the summer has come, which I've talked about a little bit in the last video, but essentially, um, instead of eggs spawning throughout the tower of barb barbs, there are these palm tree looking mushrooms that can be sold for a very high amount of money. So cool. Um, that's, that's it. Also, there are like some status effects stuff in the waiting room, so cool. <laughs> Anyways, not important. That's a bit of old news, but what's not old news is the new charger. Let's talk about this one because this is, of course, my bread and butter, the ones I have the most fun with because they are normal difficulty. They're not like end tier mean <laughs> activities that are going to smash you into dust. I prefer these ones. Anywho, um, the new Yotsuyama Charger events. This fighter will spawn from the 22nd floor to the 29th floor. Um, and he'll be available at this current time. Right here, boom, me. Mm. <laughs> and of course, Senpai says, Hey Senpai, check out the latest image of the Yotsuyama Charger and their new gear. Um, so he has a shock baton, and the new Charger's gear looks... <laughs> neat. The, the bat looks interesting, but the, the armor is sports attire, which I'm not exactly into. <laughs> but anyways, I do like the the bat. That looks actually pretty cool because the or the hammer bat. I think it's going to be more like the hammer. We'll see. I don't think it has any sort of special move sets, maybe. Um but as you guys can see, it can do pretty crazy things. Its finisher looks awesome and it's yeah. It, yeah, its alt makes a big shield. Um which I'm not sure if if that affects everyone within the zone or it's like if some people have to go into the cone in order to get damaged. I don't know. But he talks about the new charger having a stun rod on um, with electricity, which is awesome, and says dodge his attacks unless you want to be turned into a skeleton. Trust me, it's not as bad as you think. <laughs> then Pied's fucking psycho. Anyways, um, don't forget to snag the blueprints. Yeah, yeah, yep. Charger haters. Yeah, so the new weapon is called the stun rod. The new armors are called the blitz um, bowler. Okay, so they're blitz blower head. <laughs> the bits. I can't say that word fast. Blitz bowler head, blitz bowler body, blitz bowler pants. Ugh. <laughs> Anyways, bring the blueprints down to the waiting room. We know how that goes. So yes, we're going to be farming uh, the same spot that I usually do for higher level fighters or higher level armor, which also means it's probably going to cost a fair bit to make. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to be going. I'm, I'm going to be getting them and just to showcase to you guys. I'm not sure if I'm going to be going through with building it because I had to build the drill and it was annoying having to farm for something that is like... I'm not, it's like not end game worthy until you upgrade it seven more times. So I was like, okay, I'm wasting time here, <laughs> which it sounds fucked up, but it's very much the place I am living currently in, let it die. But um, we also got this limited time store offers, not gonna go into that. Um, things are happening, but the patch notes are actually pretty cool, which are pretty significant. Um, they go on to say that they've added an express day pass benefit, which is a discount at your salvage cost, which is good. I'm not sure how much that discount is, and it's. Yeah, the express day pass is like it's a, I mean it, ma it makes sense if you're like a hardcore player That's not me, <laughs> but if you want it go ahead. I'm not trying to tell you what to do with your money anyways They also added a new mushroom. That's the helmet shroom Not sure what that is. Uh, maybe it's like a, a shitty helmet that gives you some resistance based on if you cook it or not It kind of makes sense. I think helmets are the one thing that people don't like wear <laughs> a lot Also, they added a grade 6 defender and striker But you have to have breached the 50th floor in order to actually do that so you need to have gotten to the very top of the new level levels <laughs> so shitty um, but also Cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> Adjust decal self-defense timing for perfect guard. Okay. Um, radio channel that that major and minor adjustments. What are those minor adjustments? Why are you holding out on me? Lots of changes that they go through. Um, we're not going to go through all of them because um, to me there was not out any outliers besides the fact that you can no longer have the one day death. It was an event, which is shitty, but shitty. <laughs> really shitty. Anyways. Um, we got this which is the mushroom club. They're doing stuff with mushrooms with premium jackals If you like the like the collecting the rare materials It's kind of like the looter shooter aspect of this game except not so much shooter and very little loot <laughs> But still it's more about crafting, but still also they did this um, So now the store that it was completely useless I don't think I've seen one person utilize it now has kind of a, a change of systems where you can now spend death metals to obtain armors and materials which is yeah, <laughs> yeah 
It, yeah, it's not great for the person that's, and we still got to grind, but if people got money to throw at it, then absolutely you can do that. I think the prices are a bit bonkers. Um, like it, it costs 10 death medals for red metal. That's a, that's, I think it costs a bit to get death metal. So yeah, also this guy needs to chill out. He's got 755 death medals. Calm down. But yeah, the store now has some stuff there, so if you do want to participate in the microtransactions, you can, and you have more ways to do that, which is nice. Still think they should sell a metal pack for Let It Die, but okay. <laughs> anyway. And then, of course, the thing that everybody has been raging about, which is the Four Forcemen Unleashed. Red Napalm. Um, this is the next Forceman that we are fighting. She is the War Assembly, so I definitely think how it's going to go is DoD, War Assembly, Candy Wolf, and then Milk. So we're going to be fighting a sports guy <laughs> towards the end of the... Uh, Enforcement, I guess. Anyways, kind of cool. Um, she is based on ranged weapons, which, which thankfully it's not like the assault rifle that is like lasered onto you. I've seen people play it. And we're gonna be actually doing this on the channel, hopefully, if unless I miss my window to do it. In that case, sorry, <laughs> just shit, I messed up. But she has like a chain gun that's bonkers. It's got like shotguns and assault rifles on it, but it's still not as like dead dead set accuracy with with AI and assault rifles. So that's nice positive I guess and of course the normal version of her um, can be done in by some pretty decent weapons I haven't seen people put up too much of a f like of a fuss <laughs> when dealing with the normal equivalents but of course if you want her gear her really good gear you're gonna have to fight the hard mode and if you want her weapon her badass and insane weapon you're going to have to one go to the 17th floor yeah yeah so right here I just want to double check I wasn't crazy um so it says hard mode you'll get kill coins the red napon head the red the whole her armor set essentially and red metal and for the nightmare you'll get their weapons which is like the big outlier there <laughs> and wow <laughs> anyways and apparently the 4cc rare metal Hmm, I wonder if that is used to craft the gun itself because that'd be kind of shitty It'd be like oh I got the blueprint <laughs> I can't even make it because I still need to grind for the like, killer again and nightmare isn't a joke And they mentioned that there's like a time limit. <laughs> so you definitely got to kill her fast um, Unless that's not the case in that case. Okay, it maybe it's referring to this time period of like the event being active But it made it sound like the event like when you jump into the ring It has a cooldown like a timer and if you don't kill her in time you lose I'm um, also something that they've done which is great <laughs> is they've turned off um, all of the mushrooms so you can no longer bring mushrooms and help your way through the fight at all so good <laughs> good it, I mean it's an event that's that's titled for like the hardest of the hard right it's the, you get the best armor um, in the game and it makes kind of sense <laughs> that this is for the people that like that challenge 100% um, so I can't really be like what the fuck I do get irritated with the fact that the armor is the best in the game and maybe you guys could be like well it's the best in the game because it's the hardest to attain and I'm like cool but could you not send your fighters after me and leave me no ch like I have no chance against you like the defense and like the PvP and multiplayer in this game I think are it's like if you could just de detach them I'd be fucking thrilled or if I could just sign like a contract that just left me out of the multiplayer and I never got the bonuses of expeditions or any of that shit, then I'm di I'm in. <laughs> I'm in 100%. Let me sign up for that sheet right now. Because damn, I can't even progress because other people keep shitting on me. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I spent like a whole long ass time making defenders so that they could defend my base. Um, and then it's just, it's just fucking useless because all of them are dead now and all of their armor is broken because people capture them I, I just is not the video <laughs> to talk about it, but Napalm ah, th these are also the missions that they've added so you can actually go to the one person the first couple rewards are pretty shitty um, It's basically just kill her and she'll get some DOD black metal But then towards the end of it you actually start to get some good stuff like you got to kill her five times in order to get some DOD red um, also like every factions red equivalent of metal as well as some kill coins only 500 though That's not that great, <laughs> but um, and by the way, you do have to pay into this uh, fight So you have to like pay your way in which is kind of clever I think they did that with the last one, but this one seems like it's a little bit more pricey um, If I can find the cost. Yeah, so this is the difficulties for normal. You have to pay $5,000 the discount is for people that have the premium uh what do you call it? The uh, Express Day Pass, I think. And then Hard is 30 kill coins, and then Nightmare is a hundred thousand, which of course, it, yeah, it's gonna it it stifles your ability to like do it over and over again. So if you are the kind of person that likes this kind of challenge, maybe you won't do this. But I would definitely just like see people's runs of them doing it, just so you can see how the boss works and 
yeah, without having to spend like five hundred thousand dollars just to kind of get what she's her negatives are and what her like one shot kill abilities are. Yeah, <laughs> just a little old thing. Anywho. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, my name is Logan Ando Frost. That has been Let It Die. We, uh, we're going to be jumping into some actual gameplay in the next video, but this is just a quick update to tell you guys about things that they've added within the game. Oh no, a personal review of the new content. Um, I'm real happy we got no, another one of these. <laughs> I like these ones a lot. These ones are my favorite. Um, because again, they're for like the just casual, but then again, you can still get like a hater that's super buff, kick you in the mouth, so like, Still pretty hardcore. Anyway, and with the four horsemen, I like it because it's they have like the normal one, which is like almost anyone can kind of give a go at unless you're really low level. But even then, you can still probably try to make something up. Um, the lower your level, the lower your gear, the harder the fight's gonna be, even if it is normal. Um, the opposite can be said for the nightmare. If you have really really good ge gear, like a maxed out um, hockey stick with a striker class with two decals that are double handed weapons. Less hard, I think, at least. But yeah, oh, also, yeah, what am I talking about? I think, if, I don't think they change based on the, the, like, nightmare to hard besides level and damage. That's the only thing that gets affected, I think. So, you, in theory, you could just do the, the normal tier, um, fighting her, and then that way you learn her, her abilities and her, like, oh shit, <laughs> get away from that damage, um, things, so you don't have to, like, watch videos for it. Then again, even $5,000 is pretty, or kill coins, it's kind of important. Anywho. Don't mean to stay here for too long. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. That is going to end it. That has been Let It Die. The new updates and events that they've that they've added. The outliers to me are the Force Min event, the new one. She looks badass. Real quick, you get her armor, right? If if you're a dude, <laughs> you wearing a G-string, cause that Hmm. <laughs> it's kinda shit. <laughs> it's kinda shitty. But, um, also we got this. This is the other outlier that I'm going to be making videos of. These two, I will hopefully get a chance to play. So hopefully timing works out. And yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, my name is Logan Endor Frost. That brings us to the end of the video. Hopefully, guys, check out the next Let It Die video. As well as Fortnite. I love that game to tears, and you guys are enjoying it as well, which makes me so happy. Anyways, subscribe button above me. Two videos to my right. Thank you guys so much, and bye, guys.